Real Madrid. Very happy with their recent form. Their last game they won against Sevilla. Yeah, surprisingly so, 4-1. But uh, they're full of it at the moment. I think they might get themselves another win here. And this is the 11 today for Spartak. And the kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the Indian. And try one now, right from the kickoff. They look like scoring, they have now. Sharp from the off, and what a good goal. And what a goal from him that was. He's put his laces through it, and it's flown past the keeper. Real Madrid with the lead now. Fernando. Well, they're in a good position here. Got past his marker. A real opening for him. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him. Tightened up. Kovacic. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Dybala. Black the old one-two. So quick, one after the other. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Fernando. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Went in a bit crudely, but the referee saw it and uh, decided not to stop the game because they've still got the ball. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, it looked a bad miss, but I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. Mateo Kovacic. Carvajal. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Threading it through. The keeper, well, that's almost as good as a goal at the other end. He's certainly saved a goal here. Do you know what? He's done that right throughout his career. Brilliant. Good reading of the play by the defender. That's good movement forward here. Good interception. Fernando. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Carrying the ball forward. This could... Good vision. Sane! That was perhaps the place where it was impossible to save it. No uh, goalkeeper could have reached that. It clips the post on the way in. Yeah, really good strike. He took it early as well, and I think that's what caught the goalie off guard as much as anything. Fernando. On the attack here. Kibala. The shot's on! The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. He's got support here. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Just wondering about the effect of the snow into the player's eyes and seeing uh, as clearly as they would do if there was no snow. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? If uh, it impairs vision and uh, if it gathers on the ball as well, of course, that's when the ref has to have a look at it. Kovacic. Werner. Tony Kroos. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. In a great position to pull it back. Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Whoa, the crowd were up on their feet there. That was a spectacular effort. On to the attack now. He's in. A real chance here. And this is a goal. Well, he managed to keep it down, put it into the back of the net. And the keeper just couldn't reach it. For Real Madrid, their 
just emphasising their superiority and widening the margin. Yeah, I think so, and you look at their overall play and they've deserved it. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is a knack. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Popov. Neatly intercepted. Added time coming up. There'll be two minutes of it. Good vision here. Well, the goalkeeper's got it, but only just. That is the... We saw from the first half, Alan, that the sides really have got down to their style of play in this group. They're in now to the second half of their fourth match, of course. Yeah, and two clubs that know what it takes to progress, and uh, it's going to be an interesting match-up, this one. Pop-off. No reason to three then, and he's read the play well. Here's a chance to attack. Challenge here. Teo Kovacic. Christian Pulisic. They're looking dangerous when they get the ball out into the wide areas, Real Madrid. Just trying to catch the player in possession. Well, what a player. What a performance in that first half, Alan. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. Fernando. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Christian Pulisic. On EA Sports, a quick reminder, the La Liga fixture coming up for Real Madrid. They'll be facing Rayo Vallecano away from home. Well, when you look at the matches in the past between these two, he doesn't usually disappoint. Quite clearly a free kick. Well, that's the end of his game, and what a game he's had, and the crowd appreciate that. Excellent. Well, he, he was so lively from the first whistle, really, and he was dictating the match for large parts. Well done, some. They've got numbers in this attack. And it has to score! They score! I think a manager loves that kind of goal because it was a real team effort the way they moved the ball about. And once it came to the finish, it was an unerring effort. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Popov. Good forward play from them. The advantage given there, and they can get the cross in now. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supporters have lost their will to support, I think. Well, oh, haven't they just? You could hear a pin drop here. Seen one or two heading for the exits, they're not impressed. Quick whip. Not a nice challenge. What will the ref do? It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. And here they are, Real, on the attack again. Going wide again to impose their quality, Real Madrid. Picked off that pass, and now he's got the ball and a chance to create something. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Good challenge. Carvajal trying to play from the back, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, this could be 
A counter-attack on. Not trying to catch this cross. He's punched it away. And that's good support as they build this attack. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. This is where Real have been strong today, down the flanks. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. He's got his shot off now. Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Oh, the crowd were up on their feet there. It's a spectacular effort. Real Madrid have the ball. That will be two added minutes. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. And here's the shot. It comes out off the goalkeeper. Obviously thought he'd really got to connect there, and he did. But maybe it just put his aim off. Yeah, I mean, a bit of contact maybe from the defender, but uh, you would have expected him to score from there. Game the kind of Champions Cup Arsenal 3 and elect nil Bayer Leverkusen 2 Majesty United nil Juventus 3 Celtic 1 PSV 2 Schalke 1. Celta Vigo 2. Paris Saint-Germain 2. Spartak Moscow 0. Real Madrid 5. La Liga. Atletico Madrid 3, Valencia 0. Celta de Vigo 3, Tenerife 1. Deportivo La Coruña 1, Ibar 1. Espanyol 1, Girona 2. Rayo Vallecano 1, Real Madrid 1. Sevilla 0, Real Sociedad 2. Villa Real 1, Barcelona 1. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Atletico Madrid with 27 points. In second, the former leaders, Real Madrid with 26 points. 
In third, Deportivo La Coruña with 21 points. In fourth, Barcelona with 21 points. In fifth, Athletic Bilbao with 20 points. In sixth, climbing the table are Girona with 19 points. In seventh and falling are Villarreal with 19 points. In eighth, moving down are Espanyol with 18 points. La Liga. Barcelona, 1. Atletico Madrid, 1. Girona, 2. Deportivo La Coruña, 2. Celta de Vigo, 1. Bilbao, 0. Real Madrid, 0. Getafe, 1. Valencia, 1. Levante, 0. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Atletico Madrid with 28 points. In second, Real Madrid with 26 points. In third, Deportivo La Coruña with 22 points. In fourth, Barcelona with 22 points. In fifth, Athletic Bilbao with 20 points. In sixth, Girona with 20 points. In seventh, rising up the table are Valencia with 19 points. In eighth and falling are Villarreal with 19 points. Bottom of the table, Rayo Vallecano with two points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Tenerife with five points. Third bottom, Malaga with six points. Fourth bottom, Levante with ten points. Fifth bottom, Sevilla with twelve points. Referee blows, and here we go. Champions Cup group stage, it's match day five. Well, we're getting towards the end of it, and uh, not much room for error now. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. In goal, Roman Berkey. Omer Toprak plays with Socrates Papastatopoulos. In central defence, Wilfried Zaha starts with Andres Schuller out wide. In attack, Jonas starts. He was man of the match last time out. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Jan to put them in front. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Pressure is on. But he is managing to keep the ball. He's got a bit of support if he needs it. Excellent attacking work from Dortmund. Good defending. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Kovacic. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. Mateo Kovacic. They've done very well in this competition so far, the visiting team. And they do have an opportunity already in the group to qualify for the knockout stages. Well, I think if you'd have asked them at the start, they'd have settled for this situation. Just one point required, but my advice would be to try and win this match. They've gone and won it, Real Madrid. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. I like the look of this attack. Kovacic. Werner. Christian Pulisic can really get at the opposition here. He's had a go here. This with a chance to go into the lead now. 
and they put away the first goal of the game. Real Madrid with the lead. Julian Weigel. Shahi. On the move and able to cut out the pass. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Going for goal! Shahid. I was very interested, Alan, looking forward to this match now, which is shortly about to start. What the manager's been saying before such an important cup tie, such a, a big game in an early round. He's really gone out on a limb saying almost that they're, they're bound to win it. They're so good. Yeah, you just wonder whether he's hiding something, whether he's betraying a little bit of tension by being so effusive in his praise. We shall see shortly. This is the kind of uh, pitch that I think attacking players favour, Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah. In on the goalkeeper. Good play until they got that challenge in. Pulisic. Good position. Guiding it through. Brilliant opportunity here. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And... He is feeling that special delight at the moment. Sebastian Roda. Really, to read the pass. Pulisic. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. An incisive pass. Look for the goalkeeper in the eye. Added to coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Time now. Now, and there goes the whistle for the start of the second half of the fifth match. Remember, their fifth match in this group stage of the Champions Cup. Yeah, no quarter given in that first half. It's been a really competitive, aggressive tussle. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition. Which this could be it. A big call as we look back on it because there would have been a real chance to get a goal had the down. Yeah, I think uh, that he went just a little bit too early. He knew he was bad, but rightly flagged. Not often, Alan, do you see one man on top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat trick in the second half. Jonas could be dangerous. Able to cut with um, some sharp move. Got the opposition back pedalling a little bit. Dybala. Tony Kroos. That is not. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And that's the way to defend. Make sure the opposition can't get on the ball in that part of the pitch. Well, now they're behind. They've got to. And he takes it on. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here. To save that just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Here come Real Madrid. Defender has to be quick. He's tackled well. It was a good challenge. This led to a corner. Corner from Tony Kroos. Cleared away by the defender. Well, that pass never reaching its target and they're away with the ball now it's Borussia Dortmund they've got a chance to use the advantage rule here Dybala Labio that's great defending there stopping that attack 
Hotspur, who will soon be moving into a new stadium to increase their revenue streams. They want to go there with a strong side, and they're trying to add to their strength here. Quite a bit of money, about £60 million pounds we hear. understand why they would want to invest that amount. On the attack here, good defending. This is where... Flanks. Good vision. This might be it! And full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. No goal. Flag up. Well, assistant there. He was certain. Flag went up straight away. Well, time is ticking away. It's time for a change, and here it comes. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Rabio. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. And now it's their turn to attack on the break. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. And that's good play by the defender, because had he messed up then, it would have cost a goal, I'm sure. Fibala. Rabio. Kroos. Real Madrid looking good here. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Jonas. Mario Goetze. Domenico Crescito. Shot off! Great save! You can only put it behind for the corner. Corner's taken. Well, that's good defending. And that... Champions Cup. Monaco 2, Manchester United 1. Arsenal 0, Paris Saint-Germain 1. Borussia Dortmund 0, Real Madrid 2. Schalke 4, Celtic 0. PSV 2, Juventus 1. La Liga. Athletic Bilbao 2, Real Betis 2. Atletico Madrid 3, Tenerife 0. Granada 1, Real Madrid 0. Levante 2, Barcelona 2. Spanish Cup, Osasuna 2, Malaga 1, Girona 2, Celta Vigo 2.
Real Sporting Gion 2, Levante 1. Real Zaragoza 0, Real Betis 0. Rayo Vallecano 2, Espanyol. La Liga, Real Madrid 4, Real Betis 1. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Atletico Madrid with 31 points. In second, Real Madrid with 29 points. In third, Deportivo La Coruña with 23 points. In fourth, Barcelona with 23 points. In fifth, Girona with 23 points. In 6th, Valencia with 22 points. In 7th, Athletic Bilbao with 21 points. In 8th, Ibar with 21 points. Bottom of the table, Rayo Vallecano with... Champions Cup. Bayer Leverkusen 1, Monaco 2. Celtic 1, PSV 1. Schalke 1, Juventus 1. Paris Saint-Germain, nil. La Liga, Athletic Bilbao 1, Real Madrid 1, Atletico Madrid 0, Villarreal 1, Granada 1, Ibar 1, Espanyol 1, Tenerife 2, Rayo Vallecano 2, Malaga 2, Real Betis 1, Real Sociedad 0. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Atletico Madrid with 32 points. In second, Real Madrid with 30 points. In third, Barcelona with 27 points. In fourth, Girona with 26 points. In fifth, climbing the table are Valencia with 26 points. Our main feature today on EA TV, two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Real Madrid back in action again after their last game, which was away, and they drew against Athletic Bilbao. Yeah, positive to take from the 1-1, one -one. and uh, I do fancy them for a victory here. Several changes today for Real Sociedad. Yeah, they take the lead. 
cut out of the goalkeeper. Now Diego Llorente. Zurutuza. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Went in a bit. Must score! That's a fine catch by the keeper. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Saw the goal and went for it. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. There's good progress with this attack. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Real hint of promise about that attack, but in the end it came to very little. They're looking dangerous when they get the ball out into the wide areas, Real Madrid. Dybala! Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. There's a dangerous feel to this attack, it's looking good. Now the shot! And they put away the first goal of the game. He has put that where it's impossible for the goalkeeper to reach it, right up into the top corner. Yeah, a couple of keepers wouldn't have got a hand on that. Real Madrid with the lead. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Hernandez. Werner. This is where Real have been strong today, down the flanks. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Stopping the pass getting through with probing pass. Sane. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Straight back. They're scoring again. Everything they're trying now is coming up. Off. Could be dangerous. Probing with the pass. Gross. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. William Jose. Zuratuza. Still trying to find the pass. He's in here. It's a fine strike. but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bounce in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Time-wasting, Alan, do you think, from the away team here? They've got a win, perhaps, uh, in their sights now if they do well, but there are other ways of seeing it through from here. Yeah, well, you can understand it. To a... It's worked hard to get themselves into this position and they don't seem to have too many ambitions of getting another goal now. Tony Cross. Here they are, Real on the attack again. He's had a go here. Well, they've all gone to the defender to say well done, but I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better.
Ilyara Mendy. Yanuzai. A bit of menace in the. Zuratuza. Good defending. Tony Cross. Real chance. Opportunity here. Big deflection by the defender there. But the goal will stand. Just looking at that deflection, of course, defenders do get attracted to the ball. He might have been better just letting it go. Yeah, there's an argument to say that. I think the goalkeeper behind him is... Getting that point across. Zuratuza. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Move. What an opportunity if he picks out the right man. It's hit the post and gone in. Well, it swerved a bit at the end. It might have been going wide initially, but it's hit the inside of the post. When you do hit them with that.
kind of accuracy. There's just no chance for the goalkeeper, no chance at all. Well, we wonder if the second half is going to be like the first, one-sided. Cross. Real Madrid looking good with this attack. Yan Yuzai. We've given it straight to the opposition. Classily. Two for him on the day, and two very well taken goals. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. William Jose. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Space to try and hit it now. That's very gallant goalkeeping to get the ball at the feet of the opponent. Yeah, keeper showed a bit of pace there, actually, to make up the ground and close down the attacker. Dybala. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Dybala. Oh, how cheeky is that? Takes a lot of bottle to try that, but he's got it. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Tony Kroos. Here's a chance to attack. Kroos! Fair corner. He's put in the corner. Good defensive clearance there. Another shot! Volley's for goal! And there's the goalkeeper called into action, but not very testing action. Geronimo Rulli. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Really getting position this far up the pitch now. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Gross. EA Sports news for you. We can bring you up to date with what's coming up. It's the Spanish Cup, Real Sociedad. They'll be facing Eibar away from home. Spicy atmosphere. Good football installed, I think. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Whipped in hard and low. Read the play well to intercept. Well, the home team has been outplayed and the home supporters have lost their will to... Oh, chance! And he scores spectacularly. Three of the best. He's made them play and that completes a wonderful hat-trick. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is. For a special player too, a player that... Uh... He's the clinical sort, and he's shown us that today. That's a wonderful tackle. Carvajal. 
cross. This is where Real have been strong today, down the flanks. The shot's on! Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Well, we've got a substitution now. Excellent work with the tackle. Good piece of tackling then. Cross. Well, here comes the support. Got the ball away from the opposition, got to keep it now. Yanuzai. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, that's the end of the game. Is it? La Liga. Tenerife 1, Deportivo La Coruña 0. Malaga 2, Getafe 2. Real Sociedad 0, Real Madrid 7. Ibar 2, Real Betis 1. Villa Real 4, Levante 0. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Real Madrid with 33 points. In second, the former leaders, Atletico Madrid with 32 points. In third, rising up the table, are Valencia with 29 points. In fourth, moving down, are Barcelona with 27 points. In fifth and falling are Girona with 26 points. In sixth, climbing the table, are Villarreal with 26 points. In seventh, moving down, are Deportivo La Coruña with 25 points. In eighth, rising up the table, are Ibar with 25 points. Bottom of the table, Rayo Vallecano with six points. And then reading up the table, second bottom and falling are Malaga with 12 points. Third bottom, climbing the table, are Tenerife with 14 points. Fourth bottom, Levante with 15 points. Fifth bottom, Sevilla with 15 points.
Spanish Cup. Getafe, 1. Celta de Vigo, 0. Real Madrid, 1. Villarreal, 0. Ibar, 1. Real Sociedad, 0. Valencia, 1. Sevilla, 1. La Liga, Bilbao 2, Real Sociedad 1, Getafe 1, Valencia 1, Granada 1, Malaga 3, Deportivo La Coruña 1, Celta de Vigo 2.
Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. What we've got in this game, of course, is two real rivals. And that can bring the best out of both of them. Moving forward, great ball. Well, that was pressure for the goalkeeper from that through ball. Headed down to a teammate. And that is a cheek piece of play to give the ball away like that. And shoots! Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. Good vision here. Could be dangerous. Kane! Pulisic. He's cut that out well, well read. Where did the shot go? And the goalkeeper, Sergio Asenjo, is not called upon really to show what a good goalkeeper he is. Easy for him. Leroy Sane. He's such a raw talent. He's going to try his luck. Good work from the keeper. Real Madrid given the throw here. Well, he's thrown possession away. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. We're still going towards goal quickly. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Kane. Here's a chance. Kane slips it through. Real chance. And a goal. And they've opened the scoring now. Well, they all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. That uh, he was there, right place, right time. And that has made the score 2 0 on aggregate. On the move and able to cut out the pass. On the attack here. Dybala. And it's in via the post. Well, the aggregate score is 3 0. And Dyer. Victor Ruiz. And he gives it back to him. Well, they're in a good position here. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Pass one defender. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Dybala. On to the attack now. Kane! And there it is, the goal! Point-blank range. You've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. 4-0, the aggregate score. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. chance now now it's a corner swung in from the corner really commanding goalkeeper and that's easy for a player of his ability to catch the corner There's some potential in this move bonus let's see what this and in it goes. Only away from danger. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. De Marcos. Dybala. Going wide again. 
to impose their quality, Real Madrid. Space to try and hit it now. Oh, just too high. Yeah, couldn't quite. Decent effort. Not a high-risk manoeuvre, but slightly risky. Trying to keep the ball here and risk losing it in the defensive third. And that's the referee. In the Spanish Cup, there's uh, a lot of good action in the earlier rounds, and we're seeing some of it here in the round of 16. And the second half of this tie has started. Yeah, it's been a good match. The first half was entertaining, and uh, more of the same, hopefully. De Marcos. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Made the challenge well. We'll position this for the free kick. That's going to mean a bookie question. It was not the best of challenges. Well, with him, you know he's going to go for goals. He's had better efforts, many of them. I'd be surprised if he is allowed to take the next one after that. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. Tony Crow, he's beaten his marker. That's good movement forward here. And now the shot! Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. And that, on aggregate, means it's 5-0. Good forward play from them. And shoots! Magnificent from the goalkeeper. Well, it's all about positioning and spreading his body. Top-class kick. Substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. Here come Real Madrid. Werner. That was a good idea to try and use the width on the pitch, but it's gone out for a throw. Well, it's still just speculation, Alan, isn't it? But what a big money deal it would be if it went through. Yeah, in this day and age, it does take a long time. And agents get involved, all sorts of things to sort out. But it sounds to me as if something will happen eventually. Can he hear? Break quickly when they get possession. Cross. On EA Sports, a chance to see the La Liga fixture. Villarreal, they'll be hosting Deportivo La Coruña. Yeah, I think we're in for a few fireworks between these two teams. Plenty of goals in store as well. The shot's on! Here they are, on the attack. Space for the shot! Super goal! It's always great for the coach when the substitute scores, as has happened here. That aggregate score is a wide margin, isn't it? 6-0. Knocked it away from very close range. All about concentration, that getting the right strike on it. Slipped through. Played in the clear. Bruno trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. 
we say so often we get the benefit of these replays and the assistant of course has one chance to see it did he get it right Alan oh just about I mean that is a, a great call from the official over there there wasn't much in it a few inches really switch of emphasis going inside it was good play until they got that challenge in got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed it's an advantage for Villarreal here referee's done well promising build up until that challenge opportunity here well that needed a more subtle touch he's gone for power and he's nowhere near well I don't think he kept his head down actually probably thought he'd scored before he'd even hit it an example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed his... It's all over. He's such...